and we have another very very boring day into the market not many movements but we did hit one loser stay tuned to check out which one was it good morning everybody and welcome back it's the february 6th 6th it's the wednesday and this is my morning uh, pre-market analysis and we are starting with the usd cad so since yesterday we were looking at the uh something around here actually this 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 was something that we were looking x to a a to b but you know it didn't it didn't happen because of the violation of the a point so right now we for today we might have another bad pattern if we drag it from here to here you can see that we have x to a a to b here b to c if we do not violate the a point right there and if we come back to 88 then we might have a bad pattern i'm gonna set myself the alarm here set price alert here yes so when the price comes here if it comes here without violation i'll take a look and i'll be and then i'll be placing my short trades on uh, my long trades based pair my rules that that's basically what i see on usd cad let's move to aussie cad aussie cad dropped made a new lower low so we continue with the bearish movement i guess we have our initial structure low yeah initial structure in initial initial starting point initial structure low higher uh lower lower high a new low and we are moving yes we will be moving down at least that's what i think and that's what i see here um nothing here in terms of patterns so i won't be able to get engaged that's it aussie usd what's up oh we might have something here this here would be a this right there x to a a to b b to c c to d will be let's see let's see one thing we need the, to hit yes this will be a big ass ghastly pattern on aussie usd it already triggered so if you're trading guard list on Aussie USD, you should already be in uh, because I was sleeping and the time time zone here is two in the morning. I didn't get triggered, so this guard list just not for me. So I'll just skip it. Then US, Euro USD, the trade that we are in since yesterday, I'm still holding it. Came down, got, got my entry, started pushing that up. Uh, was hoping to get to hit targets then start pushing down again start reversing a little bit we have this divergence here on the RSI I was hoping it will push up still divergence is still happening so I still believe that it will go up uh, but you know you never know we never know we still didn't violate technically we still didn't close below the wicks of the that they were testing the X point we will see how this candle will end, but yeah, we'll, a lot of things can happen. I see that I may need to adjust the targets right now, so I'm going to do it. That's it, 38 and 61. So we still have a chance of making what, what, 25 pips and uh, 52, 75 pips. And we will see how that go throughout the day. Now let's go to pound dollar. Pound dollar as expected as I covered in my morning analysis on, on Tuesday, yesterday. We did come first, we did breach this level, and then we did come to exactly to the to this level here, and then now the level is expected. What I do expect is because we did close below we did close below this level here, that price will go here. This is actually some kind of a I don't know, maybe uh uh flag pattern but i'm not trading flags yet so i i don't know how to get engaged i was i was or pennants something like it it is something like it if 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 you know how to get engaged in it maybe you can trade it let's let's check it out on a lower time frame and 15 yeah so it's some kind of a maybe triangle whatever whatever this is 
it is something that you might be able to trade if you if you backtested it. I don't know how to trade it, not yet. So I'll, there is nothing here for me. So I'll be just skipping this pair. And then, then pound yen. Pound yen, this is a bad pattern from yesterday. I said that I'm not taking it because uh, it's out of my, you know, uh, out of my time period and I, I'm supposed to trade the pound yen uh, patterns. And the thing is that it, it came here to test the X point, then it reversed. Now it's making this nice double bottom and could be a good trade. There is also the divergence. It went on the first test of the, po of the X point, it went overbought. Now it's showing divergence, so might be a good place to go long and enter until 38, 38.2 and 61.8 for even better risk and reward. With that being said, that's everything I see here. I currently see just one trading opportunity for me. And um, that's it. I'm still in Euro dollar. So at the end of the day, again, uh, f around 5 p.m. my time, 5, 6 p.m. I'll be recording my afternoon session and then I'll be uploading it to YouTube. Stay, stay tuned. Thank you and bye bye. And good afternoon. So we are back and it's around 4 p.m. my time, which is, which is, I'm sorry, 4 p.m. half, 3.30 p.m. GMT time zone and I'm here in front of my charts. Uh, let's go straight to the content, USD CAD. We had nothing this morning, like th th this price here is, was breached for the potential bad or whatever. So you know, we are right now, currently we are pulling back. We have violated previous outside return and I'm looking for some kind of a patterns. But so far I see nothing on USD CAD. On Aussie CAD, we are in a bearish move, making like some kind of a double, double bottom right here. Here would be a double bottom. If you're trading double bottoms, check out this level right here. What do we have? Yeah, maybe on a higher time frame, it, it might be respected, but I, I don't see anything of any interest right now. Uh, on Aussie CAD, on Aussie USD, we had that big, uh, big uh, pattern. No, no, it was here. And since then we are just moving, you know, bearish and we're consolidating here on a lower, lower time frames, but no sign of patterns. Euro dollar, first live trade, first trade that I'm journaling on YouTube, and I'm stopped out. It hit my stop loss tomorrow morning. My stop loss was what? It was, um, what was it? I believe it was this candle. Yeah, it was this candle right there. So I have to put it in my in my journal. So it was six six in the morning. GMT time zone. This is this is my journaling Excel spreadsheet. So close date would be uh, what sixth sixth of February, sixth of February two thousand nineteen. Uh, it was what? Let me just double check this. It was six in the morning. So I put six a.m. Position one exit was a stop loss one one three nine two one one three nine two. So that means that I'm, uh, well, sorry, long price 1414, 139, ah, 13. I don't know why is this making so many pips. I'll have to check it out and then fix it. But yeah, there is obviously some kind of a error in, pri in entry point or something, but I'll have to fix it. Don't worry about that. I actually lost uh actually lost like 20 uh, 20 euros which is around one percent of my account so that's okay pound dollar uh per my prediction yesterday it kind of broke from this channel here retested the low and now returned back well, i don't i see nothing here in as far as my trading goes so i'm not looking for any entries right now and pound yen I did the Instagram story on this pattern. Basically, the thing is that uh, I didn't trade it and I didn't took it because uh, it, uh, the candle that would activate my trade was this candle, which was um, 2 p.m. and I'm not supposed to tra uh, took the trades on pound on pound yen after 1 p.m. GMT time, and I'm glad I did not because my stop loss on on patterns, the way that I backtested them is always 113 
okay and it got stopped out it actually got stopped out here which is a good lesson showing me to stick with my plan even though it was tempting to enter this after this candle i i saw per my backtesting result that i have the worst entries worst times was after 1 pm and it, it it was proven so at least i did get a hit i hit stop loss on euro dollar but here i avoid, avoided stop loss and with that being said again click that like button click that subscribe button smash that bell button and help the youtube algorithm to rank our videos this comes to an end this brings us to to an end of the third journaling session on wednesday and thank you very much again for staying until the end of this video and stay tuned for tomorrow's morning session bye bye